Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about the most important keyboard shortcuts, just in case you're the kind of person that likes using keyboard shortcuts, which personally I'm not, but here's a list of the most important ones that you're going to be using a lot in Photopea, so let's get started. Some of these are nice and short, but other ones are pretty long and annoying. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first one we're going to start with is File New. You can either go up to File New, or the shortcut for it is Alt Control N. So it also shows right here what it is. Alt Control N is how you start a new project. So let's try it out. So Alt Control N. And here we go, new project screen. So let's just say create. The next one is how you open pictures that you want to bring in, which that one's easy. It's just control and O. And that'll open up your file explorer, which you can see mine did. And that's where you can choose your picture to bring in to Photopea. One of the most important ones is saving. And that one is control S, which is pretty easy. And you'll probably use it a lot. So you won't forget that one. The next one is very obvious. It is step backward or also known as undo, which is control Z. That is usually what it is on everything. But if you didn't know, control Z is how you go back. Now say you went too far back and you want to go forward one. It is actually shift control Z instead of control Z. So it's not that much different. Uh, the most, honestly, I use these the most. They're super important is copy and paste and this also is the same on like everything. Copy is control and C and paste is control and V and that's pretty universal. So if you ever want to cut something out of your project, you can do control X to cut or the delete key. Duplicating layer is control J, which is basically how you make another copy of it. That one's really handy as well. Or you could obviously just right click on and duplicate layer. It's up to you. This one's also pretty important. Say you zoomed in too much and you want to get back to what it used to look like before. You can either use the zoom tool, which is obvious, or if you want to fit it to the area, you just do control zero and it takes you back to the original state. So honestly, those are the most important ones you're going to use. The other ones you can see by just clicking up here, right here, there's tons of them, but I showed you the most important ones that you'll probably be using most of the time. Hopefully this helped you guys. I will leave down in the description below all of the commands for these that I listed. So if you guys ever want to come back to this video, you can come back to it and you can see all of them or you could just copy and paste it into a text document, whatever you want to do. But thank you guys for watching. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand subs, which is actually insane. And I appreciate it a bunch, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.